I'd like to introduce our next guests, Victoria's Secret Angels, Aaron Heatherton and Candace Wanapol. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for coming on together. I thought it would be fun to have two people on the couch together. <laughs> <Not and> at <laughs> all. I thought that you were maybe bringing Milo out. No, he's misbehaving yeah. back there. Is he so. really? Yeah. Mm. He's such a cute dog and I loved his little wave. Thank you. That was really great. He's becoming his own little celebrity now. <laughs> yeah, you were saying that when you're, you travel around with him a lot and people call out his name, the paparazzi, and they want to take his photo. Yeah, and he loves it. He's a, he's a definite poser. Does he pose for the paparazzi? Yeah. He was posing backstage. It was so funny. <laughs> was he? he? Like, one leg out. Like, oh. One leg out. <laughs> like, one paw out, one exactly. leg, tail up, you know. It was he knows amazing. how to get what he wants. Captivating. So b both of you have animals. Both of you travel a lot. Um, I want to talk to you because the, the whole theme of the show tonight is about, you know, summer and getting ready for summer, and a lot of people are going to take summer vacations. Do you guys have tips and tricks of what you put in your bag and how you travel? You know, it's, it's so hard to, to not have your things with you when you travel all the time. So for me, you know, I hate being cold in the airports. I always have something warm. Um, like my creams that I like to stay hydrated and everything. What about food? How do you guys eat on the road? What do you at restaurants, you order certain things, you pack stuff in your bag. I think always, like we're, it's kind of like we're always ready to go. Like yeah. I always have like a, a, a carry-on with a sweater, like an overnight, like cr like hair and makeup kit, whatever for, mm -hmm. for, the, for the shower and stuff and some snacks, whatever. It's just like kind of natural after like years of modeling, you kind of get used to always running being, around. Being on the go and just well, having to make any place your home. Yeah, if I know I'm going to take a red eye, I eat something nice before because the airport food is not that great. <laughs> not usually. <laughs> I sometimes when I go to, into a hotel, I have them clear out the mini bar and then put my own food in it. If I know I'm going to be I've there for a week, before. you know, because if you want to get your... from you. <laughs> well, you know, I'll write them down someday. Maybe you can <laughs> see them. But, you know, you just have to, like, learn these things. Yeah. Be, otherwise, you're not going to stay healthy. And I know that you guys both work out when you travel and all of that. Yeah, um, it's just the small things that matter, you know. Yeah, and it's easy, like, um, it's kind of, with our lifestyle, I think any place you go can be home, you know? Like, if you, like a hotel room, it just works, and it's kind of natural that you make it work You're for home. every day because we're just always on the go. So you probably get easy. to know doormen and everything, too. Like, if you go back to the same hotel yeah. a lot, it's like, yeah. hey, and they you have your favorite things. Now, Erin, I wanted to talk to you because, um, about a movie that you are currently in. Is it out yet? Uh, no, it's not out yet. Okay, but you're in the trailer, which yeah, I think is a wonderful. Surprise to me. I didn't and even know. You didn't gonna, know? No, I didn't, had no idea of it being in the trailer. It was a little roll. I'm like, oh, cool, it'll be fun. So, what's the name of the movie? And Grown Ups 2, and it's with Adam Sandler. And the scene that I'm in is with, um, is with the guys from Saturday Night Live. So, for me, it's oh, like no. a dream come true. It's like Andy Samberg and uh, Bobby Moynihan and Terry Kim, all like the funny guys. And I'm a cheerleader, and you see in the commercial. Let's see this trailer, shall we? You're gonna like this. Hi, girls. Wash it up. Extra soapy. You take these eyes, we'll take the yellow car. Oh, what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it like? Because I know what it's like to work with models, but when you're there, are you, like, how long does it take to shoot one scene? And what is it like being the on funny, a movie set? That was my only line. And yeah. it's in the trailer, so I was like, that is so awesome. I really didn't think I'd be even in the movie. I was like, I'm going to show up, and I'm going to get to watch, like, a really funny scene. I really didn't think I'd end up in the movie at all. I like it just, it's just a day of work. I'm going to go do it, do my best, whatever. And then I'm like, I watched the trailer. I had no idea I'd be in it. It was like a complete shock. I'm <laughs> um, sorry. Marion, is that you? Sorry. <laughs> I hear clicking somewhere. <laughs> Marion, now you've made it on to the program. Um, so anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you about, um, Candice, the project that you're doing. And it relates to travel, but it's really a unique project. Um, and you're doing it with uh, one of our favorite photographers, Russell James. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, Russell and I have worked together for over six years now, I think. Um, so we know each other really well. And we've spoken about doing a book together for many years, but kind of got uninspired because we were originally doing it in New York. 
Um, and then we kind of got together again and spoke about what really inspires us. And for me, to travel to really remote, pure, beautiful places inspires me. So um, we're going to kind of do a travel documentary and kind of incorporate culture and our journey and so it's a book or you're gonna have a video along with it or is it uh, we haven't you know? decided yet you know it's um, still we're still planning it but it, it's just nice to have freedom to take a whole group of people that you love and yeah. be creative and for me traveling to to amazing beautiful places is what makes me happy so that's so great. I can't wait to see it Thank when you. it comes out. Will you guys take some questions? And the answer is yes. Will you take some questions from the audience, please? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so, what's your name? <laughs> Hi, I'm Heidi. Hi. And what's your question, Heidi? Um, I was wondering, what do you recommend doing right before you put on your bikini that makes you feel the most confident and sexiest? Put on a lotion. <laughs> put on a lotion? Is that yeah. what you said? Yeah. Go for a workout. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for me, a good tan, a good summer color always makes everything feel better, so I, I think, think, yeah, I think, uh, like, Victoria's Secret has amazing, like, body oils that have, like, kind of a sheen to them, and I think that it's like a must-have when you're wearing a bikini, you have to have beautiful glowing skin. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alyssa. And what's your question for the girls? My question is, this summer, what do you think will be the soundtrack to your summer? Um, what, for me, it's that um, Get Lucky. By <laughs> Wait, what? The Daft Punk <laughs> album is so good. Yeah. That's a good summer soundtrack. I like that one. She's, she's the music queen, ask her. Uh, princess. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on your MP3 player for this summer? Hmm. Um, what am I listening to right now? Pressure. I know, geez. Kesha? I'm listening, <laughs> no. Oh. I've been listening to, like, rock music. I've been listening to a lot of the Beatles now, so it's actually not You're a new music buff. Like, you listen to everything. We yeah. always steal I her playlists, so oh. we each have different playlists when we work, and I'm just like, just put on Aaron's playlist. <laughs> yes, sir. It always gets me going. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. being here. We're going to go back to Lily, and really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I love the trip. Girls, will you guys come over here and help me with this question from Twitter because it's about okay. you guys. <laughs> Hi, Whoa. you both look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Our last question was, which of our angels did not have belly training? Let's see our audience voted. Was it Aaron, Candice, or Carly? I know Carly had belly training. I know I didn't. <laughs> so there is your answer. <laughs> the answer is Aaron. And good work, to, good work to all those who got it right at home. Thanks, Aaron and Candice. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for everyone who thought I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. 55% of you knew it.